Hello viewers, today I'll show you how to make a spicy, meaty, yummy oxtail curry with carrots and potatoes. Oxtail is one of the most delicious meats that I have ever tasted and if it is cooked right, the meat just falls off the bone and melts in your mouth. For oxtail curry, I'll be using oxtail, which is what I have here. This is around 1.2 kgs of oxtail, which is the common name for the tails of beef cattle and not just an ox. It is perfect for making stews because it is quite gelatinous. I'll also need 3 sliced red onions, 4 tablespoons of chopped garlic, 2 tablespoons of finely chopped ginger and a finger chilli, 7 peeled potatoes, uh, 4 peeled and diced carrots, two bay leaves, some cloves, two star anise, one black cardamom, two sticks of cinnamon and some green cardamoms. Let's begin cooking by putting a bit of oil in a pressure cooker and then put the whole spices in it and let them sizzle for a minute. Give them a stir and then add the chopped ginger and garlic into the pressure cooker along with the chili and the onions. Fry the onions for 3 to 4 minutes. Keep stirring the pot. And then add the oxtail pieces into the pot. Then you need to stir the pot and make sure that the oxtail pieces get seared on all sides. And change color. Then add 2 teaspoons of turmeric powder. And 1 teaspoon each of cumin powder, coriander powder and red chilli powder. As well as salt according to your taste. Give the pot a good stir so that the spices are all mixed together. Add a bit of water to deglaze the pot if the masalas are sticking at the bottom of the pot and scrape off the sticky bits. Then add a full can of chopped tomatoes into the pot and mix them in. After 2 minutes add enough water to cook the meat. And then Close the lid of the pressure cooker and cook at full pressure for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, let the pressure drop down completely and then open the lid. And you can see that the oxtail needs uh, further cooking. But it is now time to add the vegetables into the pot. So put the potatoes and the carrots in. And Close the lid and cook for another 15 minutes on full pressure. After 15 minutes, switch off the flame and let the pressure be released naturally and then open the lid. As you can see, the vegetables have cooked through. Let's look at the oxtail now. You, it's falling off the bone as you can see. And our spicy oxtail curry is done. Let's split up this delicious, wholesome curry stew. It looks delicious and it tastes even better. Trust me. Sprinkle some chopped coriander on top and serve this oxtail curry with either rice, pasta, noodles, bread or naans. Oxtail is an underrated, unfashionable meat but it really is delicious and tastes like mutton. This is the perfect recipe for the winters. Give it a try and enjoy. Enjoy.